On Friday, the Fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals ruled that Biden White House Top government health officials and FBI likely violated First Amendment by improperly influencing tech companies' decisions to remove or suppress posts about coronavirus and election. Arrow write the decision would likely be seen as a victory for conservatives who have long argued that social media platforms' content moderation efforts curtail free speech rights. But some advocates also said the ruling was an improvement over a temporary injunction that U.S. District Judge Terry A. Dowdy issued on July 4. David Green, an attorney with Electronic Frontier Foundation, said the new injunction is a thousand times better than one originally issued by Dowdy, an appointee of former President Trump. Doughty's decision affected a wide range of government departments and agencies and imposed 10 specific bans on government officials. The appeals court rejected nine of them and modified the 10th limit efforts to force or significantly encourage social media companies remove, delete, suppress, or reduce social media content that contains protected content including by changing their algorithms the Fifth Circuit panel also limited government agencies affected by decision to White House Surgeon General's Office Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and FBI it lifted Dowdy's restrictions on departments of state homeland security health human services well as agencies such US Census Bureau National Institute of Allergy Infectious Diseases Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency. The Fifth Circuit found that these agencies did not force social media companies to monitor their sites. The White House likely coerced the platforms into lenient decisions through frightening messages and threats of adverse consequences, the justices wrote. They also found that White House significantly incentivized platforms' decisions by taking control of platform's decision-making processes, violating First Amendment. A White House spokesman said in a statement that the Justice Department was reviewing the decision and considering its options. This administration has promoted responsible actions to protect public health, safety, and security when faced with challenges such as a deadly pandemic and foreign attacks on our elections, a White House official said. It remains our consistent view that social media platforms have a critical responsibility to consider impact of their platforms on the American people, but to make independent choices about information they present. The decision is likely to have a far-reaching impact on how federal government communicates with the public and social media companies about key public health issues and 2024 elections. The lawsuit is the most successful salvo to date in an increasingly conservative legal and political effort to limit coordination between the federal government and tech platforms that case and recent investigations in.